Yeah. No, Harris, wait, we're still talking. I'm done. I felt good about my plan, and then I let you drag me here and show me everything that I can't have. Thanks a lot. You know what? This whole thing is a scam. You just bring people down here, get their hopes up, and then try to trick them into crippling loans they'll be paying back for the rest of their lives. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know, I want my $100 application fee back. I'm sorry. We, we can't do that. Well, that check was never going to clear anyway. Good day. Man? Yeah? Uh, I heard you hurt your back, so I came by to check on you. Mark said you've been in there for a couple hours. You okay? I can't pull myself out of the tub. <laughs> You're going to get sick if you stay in there too long. I'm coming in. Oh, jeez. Uh... Okay, give me a second to cover up, would you? All right. Oh, rainbow bubbles. I didn't picture you as a bath bomb kind of guy. I'm a very complex man. I have a gay grandson who gave me this for Christmas. I thought the Epsom salts would help. I didn't know the glitter and the color would turn me into a merman. <laughs> Uh, your, your hair has shampoo in it. Yeah, I, I was gonna rinse it off with a hose attachment and fill in the tub. Well, I could reach in there and root around. Might change our relationship. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just a little shampoo. I'll get it. Um, here. Uh, okay. Okay. Here. See? That's not so bad, is it? That's kind of nice. Oh, soap in my eye. Soap in my oh, eye. Oh, here, I got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um. All right. Let's get you out of that tub. Now, do you want to... Uh, have some more towels, or should I just close my eyes? Well, more towels. You're gonna peek. You can't help yourself. <laughs> wow! Looks like you two had a good time at the wine festival. I only had one glass. I don't know why I threw up in the Uber. <laughs> Dawn bought me this. Oh, I'll be right back. Wow. Guess I was wrong. She really is your friend. She still took you to the festival even though you cut the order. Well... You did cut the order. Well, not exactly. Jackie! Oh, well, I don't want to know. Becky, Dawn's the only friend I've got. That's not true. Women don't like me, Becky! <laughs> I'm a woman and I used to like you. I'm 64 and I'm tired of being lonely. She's the first friend I've had in years and I don't want to lose her. But isn't it better to find out now if she's playing you before you get any more attached to her? Or I never find out and I live in a happy fantasy world where I go from wine festival to wine festival. <laughs> Look, I just don't want to see you get lied to in another relationship. You deserve a real friend. I know, I do. How about a glass of wine for courage? But just one. I don't want to get sloppy. What are you doing out here? I'm trying to freeze myself to death so Harris can get some hardship money for college. You don't want to take your shoes off. It'll go faster. School wouldn't give us any money. If I'd saved anything, my daughter wouldn't be giving up her dreams at 17. Hi, welcome to the Connor family. <laughs> Dad, you should have seen her face when she was walking around that campus. And I swear she was actually smiling. I feel like I failed her. Don't beat yourself up. It sounds like she's got a few things figured out. Hey, I'm sure it's a great school, but she probably doesn't want all that debt. And a business degree. That's not a bad idea. I want more for her. I know what you want. But it's time to get on board to the future she's building. 
You know, if you're not careful, you're going to make her feel like she's never accomplished anything in your eyes. <laughs> you mean like art school? <laughs> you know where I'm going to be Monday morning? At Harris's first day of work congratulating her. And you should be too. Wait, is that glitter in your eyebrows? I wish it was just in my eyebrows. <laughs> So, Dawn, um, I'm just going to say this. I have to cut our food order. I got a little carried away, and I didn't discuss it with Becky. Well, that's disappointing. I know. And even though it wasn't real, I really enjoyed being your friend. What are you talking about? What wasn't real? This, us. I know you were just being nice to me, so I'd buy more stuff, and I get it. I'm not hilarious. I don't have a cute figure. I'm just a woman with a roadside restaurant. So... You think I was just pretending to be your friend so I could make a few bucks on an order? That's ridiculous. Look, you're cool, you're smart, you're just damaged enough to be entertaining. <laughs> and you set off all those car alarms to shorten the line at the wine festival. <laughs> when you want wine, you are absolutely fearless. Hey, they were running low on white zin. <laughs> Somebody need to take action. <laughs> blast with you and it's hard for me to make female friends i think they're intimidated by me oh, so same <laughs> so we're still going to cheyenne pete's oh hell yeah we're drunk and fun we're not gonna waste that at home no way i'll be right back i cut the order and she's my friend in your face <laughs> that's great <laughs> i'm happy for you we're going bull riding hey i'm off in an hour can i come becky back off <laughs> like you reek of desperation. You know, um, I'm not complaining, but the smell of those pain patches is a little overwhelming. Oh, I thought the mosquito candle would cover it up. More wine? Sure. When I can venture more than 10 feet from an outlet next week, I'll take you to a real restaurant. Um, since you brought up next week, there's something I want to talk to you about. Shoot. There's a promoter that offered my old band a tour of the Midwest. That's great. How long? Three months, at, at least. Could be six. Wow. You know, the road is a blast and all, but if you felt like you wanted me to stick around, I could pass on it. I wouldn't be comfortable costing you that kind of an opportunity. I'd be okay with it, because, you know, things are going pretty well with us. I think they are, too. Dan, this may be my last chance to go on the road, but I'll give that up. I think you need me. So if you want me to stay, tell me to stay. Of course I want you to stay. Okay. So does that mean you're ready for a real relationship with everything that goes with it? Got it. I gotta go. Take care of yourself, Dan Connor. That's what I do best. That's my granddaughter. That's my granddaughter. First day, first day. <laughs> Grandpa, what are you doing here? Hopefully embarrassing the hell out of you. And letting you know how proud I am of you. Thanks. And also probably going to pick up some Tiger Bomb and a canned ham while I'm here. <laughs> hey, I'm the only one in this family who works. <laughs> I just wanted to say to you in front of these vending machines and this rocket ride that I was wrong. I think what you're doing is great. You found a way to go to college. I mean, that's amazing. Really? I feel like I'm disappointing you. Never. I am so proud of you. You know, I just want you to be happy. Well, you want to hear something weird? I am happy. I'm going to get a business degree and I'm going to get rich. Exploiting people like you. <laughs> well, 